my, what? Oh my god. Live it, 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 Kiwi! I'm gonna allow myself one of these. I can get Dratini, Larvitar, Beldum, Bagon, Riolu, Rotom, which you can only change its form once. Gibble, Larvesta, Dino, Gumi, Jangmo, Odreepy, Hone Edge, or Toxel. <laughs> Please be Poliwag. I actually, Drizzle could be massive for us guys. I'm not even kidding. That could be a game changer. So anyway, we're gonna get started guys. We've been doing Radical Red obviously for the last couple days. We are gonna try to take on Erica today in this next segment. I hope you guys have been enjoying watching on YouTube or on Twitch. I stream this pretty much every day right now on twitch.tv slash adrive. And uh, if you guys are enjoying it on YouTube, I appreciate the support. Be sure to like it and all that good stuff. But I was trying to say, I feel like it's such a nice puzzle of trying to play the game with, even with the notes, it's still a puzzle. It's like a puzzle of how can I figure this out? How can I do the things I need to do to ultimately get where I need to get to? You know what I'm saying? So I've been enjoying it. I already have my encounter in here. It was heat more, so no encounter for us. Um, we're gonna have to explore the whole, the whole shebang here. I don't really need encounters, so I might as well, um, I might as well run from stuff to be honest. This is the word. I'm just getting. I said I was starting today slowly. I'm getting eased into the into the day here, and that's what I'm dealing with. Um, he. I might not. This this is actually a problem. I may not actually have a really good answer for him. Uh, I just aqua tail. Hopefully, don't miss. Sweet. All right, so let's keep her working on. I'm gonna. I'm not gonna repel my way. We can just kind of fly through the encounters when they pop up, unless there's something fancy coming up. Yeah, our level cap is 44, so we are gonna have to get to that at some point. Like, we definitely want to get to 44. All right, we're in. Ooh, Dragon Rage, let's get it. Let's get it. Um, ooh, I kind of like Bite, though. I think Dragon Rage isn't even good anymore. They they made it a higher level. What's up here? Uh, Terrakion, but we don't have Rock Smash. <laughs> I do remember seeing Terrakion there, that's funny. Uh, ooh, give me Rock Slide. Yeah, I think you just gave me Rock Slide. Yo, let's get it. Let's get it, dude. Only Snoke is really gonna benefit here from Rock Slide, but I think it's worth, so I'll do that. All right, Pharisee, this is where Saucy comes in. Let him know, Saucy, let him know. Whipping up some marinara right now. Hey, thank you so much, Equinox, enjoy it, man. Yeah, so Shine Splash back in stock, 30% off. Today's the last day, so snag that. Couple trainers out here, let me go heal before I do anything, though. It's a berry right here. Nana Berry and Facade. Nice pickup. Morty's in Lavender Town, if I'm not mistaken. But we're not gonna battle Morty right now. I hear Morty is like stupid strong. So we have a lot of encounters. We got a lot of things we gotta do. Okay, so this guy. Okay, so this guy uses the EV training services. So I don't have the EV remover yet. I don't have the EV remover yet. So I need that. I don't, there's, oh, I almost talked to Morty. Oh my God. Okay, so there's Morty. We do not want to battle Morty right now. He is, he is busted. All right, so this is route 12 still. I don't really have the best ways to deal with water types. All right, there's a den. So I have not gotten my encounter on 12. We do have a, a den right here. This could be our 12 encounter. Let's see what it is first. It's a Carvana. All right, that would be a Sharpedo. To be honest though, like I don't feel like that's the play. I like I, I definitely don't feel like Sharpedo is the play right now. <sighs> I think I gotta just hold off on my encounter here. I think it's worth. Oh my, what? Oh God. I'm very scared right now. Okay, I'm less scared. I think I can live one of these. Don't fully para. Don't fully para, don't fully para, don't fully para. Bro, we're about to get so hexed out right now. We're, we're legit about, we're like legit about to just get wrecked right now because of that full para. I died at two more attacks, I don't have an option. I need nuke. Nuke is too good, dude. Nuke is too good. Nuke goes down if it stays in. I gotta switch it out. I gotta sack something off. Maybe Pegasus lives. Maybe Pegasus lives, dude. What's up, uh, Oprah Run? How's it going? 
Guys, I understand Snoke is ground safe. This chat is not assisting at all right now. <laughs> Everyone's trying to help, but they have no idea what they're talking about. I, I do wonder if the AI, I do wonder if the AI goes for, I do wonder if the AI goes for uh, discharge if I have Snoke on the field. But I think the play here is I bulldoze and then I switch Pegasus out back into Nuke at full at almost full health and hope that Nuke can take two hits because he did take one hit and was still above half. So that's my play. Oh, I'm gonna bulldoze myself though. I'm gonna end up killing myself. Wait, I'm faster. That might be that might actually be perfect. We might be okay. Oh! Let's go! No, don't don't chat. Listen, chat. I'm all about you helping me, but don't tell me Snoke was the play when obviously I was already switching into Snoke. The issue was not the switch into Snoke. The issue, all right. <laughs> the issue was very clearly what do I do with the second Pokemon? Don't take the credit. Acting as if as if I'm like I missed something there, team. Okay, let's be crystal on this one. Um. <laughs> I gotta grab some other Pokemon to trade. I'll grab you because I'm probably gonna use you for the gym. All right, Route 8, uh, new encounter. Stay away from me, you double battle. I gotta do it, don't I? I gotta do it, dude. I, the only reason why that battle was so rough is because I legit got paralyzed full parrot. If I don't get full parrot there, that battle was no problem, dude. I had the strategy. Swine up Esper? Someone in the chat just told me go around. Bro, I'm good. <laughs> we're, we're chilling right now. All right, give me something good. Yanma! Yo! I gotta take the Yanma, dude. Don't I? He's got Frisk, which is what we expect, uh, or whatever, yeah. So we just max Airstream, and I should just be able to beat it pretty quickly. I can't imagine he does much to me. I'm gonna catch him in a nice and fancy Luxury Ball, just because I have him. I feel like that's kind of nice. Thank you, Yumi. Thank you, Constant Dubs. Thank you, McLeod, for the love as well. Clutch Ranger, Crow. I didn't know they could break out! This game is really frustrating me lately. I had no idea it could break out. I had no idea they could break out of the dens. I'm so used to doing raid den adventures where they don't break out, bro. I just threw an easy luxury ball at it, thinking, oh, no problem, we're gonna catch this. And what happens? I missed two encounters in a row now. Oh my God, that's infuriating. This is not the kind of game where you can do that. So let's go grab the Eevee as a static encounter. I might have to have an open slot in my party. There's nothing that I don't know. He wrote it on the blackboard. Okay, I might have to have an empty slot. I got the Eevee. All right, and nickname D Viper. What do you got for the nickname on this one, D Viper? Mick Fluff. All right, Mick Fluff, baby. And we have the elusive female Eevee as well. This is gonna be Mick Fluff, so it's time. It may not be a terrible idea to evolve it. I might hold on to it and not evolve it right now. Hello, Grandma. And there's the T. All right, word. Oh, I thought we talked to Brock, but I guess not. Oh, this guy gives you a random egg if you give him shards. Okay, I think that's the starters. Oh, and this guy gives you a fossil for shards. Okay, so there's clearly a lot of statics here. Um, I have a helix fossil, so I can get helix fossil as well. Wow, this is really, really confusing. Um, okay, so here's what we're gonna do. I, I obviously have to set ground rules for static encounters. We entered the playthrough as saying like, hey, if a static encounter, you just get it. It doesn't really count as your route encounter. The eggs are counting as static encounters, etc. So I think the only fair thing here to make it balance is I'll take one fossil so I can take Helix fossil or a different fossil. I'm obviously already got my EV and I'll allow myself one egg and I'll allow myself one game corner Pokemon, right? Um, it's, it's just a few things. So let's pick out one fossil. Who do you take though in this context? Well, Tyrant's probably the answer. I, I feel like, I feel like Tyrant. Um, I can also probably go back and get an Aerodactyl. Uh, I am gonna take, I'm taking Archon. I don't have any green shards. How much shards do I, I might not even be able to get one in the first place. <laughs> After all this time, I gotta come back then. I gotta come back then. All right, I'm gonna take a, a random egg. I'm gonna take an egg. I have red shards. I definitely need a fire type. I'm taking the red shard. And I don't have room. So I get a guaranteed fire starter from this. So let's go hatch this egg. So I'm gonna grab my one egg here. I'm gonna grab one. I'm gonna grab the fire one because I know I have a fire shard and I need a fire one anyway. So I got the fire egg and we'll see who's gonna nickname this one. I'm gonna actually see if I can get Aerodactyl. Honestly, it's probably worth. Yeah, so he just gave me the old Amber so I can get Aerodactyl. So I think I just take Aerodactyl, honestly. Like it's hard to beat Aerodactyl. 
And this is Bad Tantrum. Ooh, yo, I love Dan CDM. Thank you so much. And it's Stomping Tantrum. Yo, that's kind of hype. I'm gonna stop learning it, but that's good to know that we can come back for this. Okay, so now I need to fly back. I'm taking Aerodactyl. I'm making my fossil choice. Let me go back. I might have to have an empty slot in the party. All right, I'm taking the Aerodactyl as my fossil. Old Amber. All right, who's gonna nickname? We'll find out here in a second. Your fossil's back to life, and I got the Aerodactyl, and I'm gonna nickname it Croakstool. What do you got for me, Croakstool? All right, Godspeed Shadow Facts the Aerodactyl. All right, let's take a look at it. Level five, Jolly Nature? What? They give me the good nature right out the gates. Oh, he's got terrible stats though, but I got a good nature on it, so that saves me some money. This thing is gonna be potentially very good. Okay, so do I have Cadaver on me? I don't. Let's hatch this egg before we do anything. I just hope it's good, because it might be useful on the team here sh soon, you know? Kid Chachi, what's going on? All right, and it's Tepe! Kid Chachi, hit me with it. What do you got for a nickname? Kid Chachi. Porky it is. Modest nature, that's terrible. Blaze, good attack, HP, defense, special defense, decent bulk overall. All right. All right, so I've got T. Yeah, you can have the T. This guy matches. Oh, here's, okay, so here's some berries and ability pills. This is really nice to have if we have an ability that we don't like. We have to figure out what our six Pokemon are for the gym, and then we'll EV train those six, right? Because it doesn't to me, it doesn't make sense to EV train everybody. Is Radical Red harder than Red? Oh my God, dude, you have no clue. <laughs> What's up, Spike? How's it going? All right, guys, here's the deal. I need, I need your love, I need your hype, I need your support. Let's make it happen. Don't let your dreams be dreams. And let me recap the team before I step into the gym. We'll talk to this guy real quick. He is always the guy who stands outside the, the he's a weirdo. He's very much so a weirdo, don't be that guy. Okay, here's our team breakdown for Erica, all right? I'm gonna lead with Kiwi. I'm just gonna decimate the gym with Kiwi. But our objective with Kiwi is to set up a swords dance on turn one and hopefully sweep. I, there's no way it's actually gonna work. We're gonna try it. Porky baby, he's got a citrus berry. He is our backup check to Sudo Wudo. Also serves as a good answer to just generally things like Rillaboom, just something that can come in, take a hit, deal some damage back. We got Squidward here. Squidward, his primary focus is Meganium. It is here to deal with Meganium and just click Acid Spray, really, in Beneshop. We got Spoons. Spoons is here for one thing and one thing only. Backup plan against Mega Venusaur. He's got a Chesto Berry, so if Mega Venusaur Sleep Powders, I can take that. We should be able to live one special attack and then deal an absurd amount of damage with Psychic back. All right, that's what we're gonna do. Now we got Dubs. Dubs has an Oka Berry. This is my other response to Pseudo Wudo. This is my other response to Pseudo Wudo. I come in against Pseudo Wudo, I can take a hit and I can fake out and I can Iron Head and I can U-turn and I can deal massive damage. So that's the squad. And then Squiggly. Squiggly, I got him his hidden ability Sap Sipper and he, ha he can't be hit by grass moves. He has an immunity and he gets an attack boost as well. Has Ice Punch and a Citrus Berry. And he has power up punch player. Squiggly could be like secretly really good here. That's the squad. I don't know how this is gonna go. Let's get it. Lovely weather, isn't it? It's so pleasant. Oh dear, I must have dozed off. Welcome, my name is Erica and I'm the leader of the Celadon Gym. I'm a student of the art of flower arranging and my Pokemon are solely of the grass type. I'm sorry, I had no idea you wished to challenge me. Very well, but I shall not lose. I'm clicking Swords Dance. I, I think it's the right play. I really do. I'm clicking Swords Dance. This Rillaboom is a problem no matter what. I just hope he switches. I just hope he switches. I'm clicking Swords Dance. I'm dead. I messed this up hard. 56, 112. I... Risk it for the biscuit? Live it, 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 Kiwi! Kiwi! Let's go, Kiwi. Let's go, Kiwi. Let's go, Kiwi. Let's go, Kiwi. What you doing, Kiwi? What you doing? We know Meganium here. Giga Drain, Ancient Power, Dazzling Name, HP Fire. He has priority Giga Drain. He's gonna priority Giga Drain. We go Squidward. He priority Giga Drains. Yup. And he's gonna drop his, his stats right now, or he's gonna lose HP on this. Holy damage. Okay. I click Acid Spray. I click Acid Spray 1 million percent here. In my mind, four times super effective. I'd love, I, dude, I would love nothing more than a Toxic Spikes, but I know that Venusaur is gonna come in. I feel like it's not worth it. 
He has priority Giga Drain because he has triage as his ability. Yo, what's up, Bubby? I think Acid Spray is the play. We should live this. No crits, Liquid Ooze comes off, deals a lot of damage instead. I think this Acid Spray KOs. This is four times super effective because I think it's um, Fairy and Grass. Yes, okay, Squidward! Squidward! Yo, this is so far so good. Squidward's doing it. This is three hours of preparation for this battle, by the way. Okay, Pseudo Wudo or Venusaur, Venusaur. Okay, do I predict the Earth Power right now? And go Kiwi. I think, the problem is Kiwi's gonna die. I think he's gonna Mega and Earth Power. I have to sack something here. I I think, I, I'm gonna go Kiwi. I'm gonna make the play. I think Kiwi, we're, we're kind of a, a, assuming that Kiwi's getting sacked off here. He's gonna Mega Evolve. I don't have Megas yet. Uh, no point in call mining when he still has Pseudo Wudo. It's not worth setting up. He Sleep Powders. So, Alakazam was 1 million percent the play there. If I go Alakazam, we're in a much better spot. Okay, so, my opponent can no longer Sleep Powder. He can't actually Sleep Powder, but I think I have to let Kiwi go down here, unfortunately. So, Kiwi, you are a great member of the team, and I appreciate you, but your time on the team is now over. I'm sorry, buddy, but I have to do this. Kiwi goes down. All right, if I had gone, if I had gone Alakazam, we were in a better spot, but that's okay. Now, if he, he I don't think he sleep powders now, but we gotta go spoons now. Now this gets really sketch if he switches out. I really need this damage. So I just hope he doesn't switch. I'm a psychic. All right, good. I hope he sleep powders. Sleep powder is my best bet. Please sleep powder me. Please sleep powder me. Please sleep powder me. He giga drains, that's fine, that's fine. This is gonna hurt, but we can take one. Oh, God. Okay. I need him to stay in. If he switches out, I'm in so much trouble. This has to KO. Spoons! Raise your spoons in the air and wave them like you just don't care. Gosh, dude, Mega Venusaur, bro. Azumarill is amazing here. Leaf Storm, oh, give me that Sap Sipper! Give me the Sap Sipper! Let's go. Hidden Power, this should be HP Fire. Oh, give it to me, baby! <laughs> give it to me, baby, let's go! Oh, I love it, I love it. Please do nothing, I'm going plus six and I'm clicking Aqua Jet in front of that Pseudo Wudo. Is that my play? Oh, Pseudo Wudo's a Grass type, Pseudo Wudo's a Grass type. There's no point in even bothering with that, I forgot about that. All right, so then what my decision here is, is it doesn't it doesn't make any sense to even bother getting all this extra attacks. We're just gonna Ice Punch. There's no reason. Oh, I see what you're saying. Ice Punch the Pseudo Wudo instead of Aqua Jet. I should have done that. I may have just choked a little bit, but that's okay. I'm gonna Power Up Punch. I see what you're saying. Because if I Ice Punch the Pseudo Wudo instead, I I put myself in a better spot. Cause I'll, I'll, uh, I'll yeah. We'll see what happens. All right, I'm gonna be plus three. This is gonna give him plus four. And we knocked him out. So I'm sitting at plus four. So plus four ice punch. I, I think I'm good. I think I'm good. I think the play here is we ice punch. I'm going for it. I think I two shot him with ice punch. I do. Oh, squiggly! Squiggly! Yo! Squiggly! Let's go! Squiggly! Woo! All right! Dude, we just got through Erica with one KO. That is massive! Let's go. Let's actually go. Squiggly? Sap Sipper Squiggly, guys. I just want to say Squiggly has had three abilities on this playthrough. It's had started off with Thick Fat, I gave it huge power, and then we brought it back to Sap Sipper, and it legitimately just carried, bro. Carried. Carried. Give me that Jigga Drain. Give it to me. Nom 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 nom. Okay. So as I said, we only get one of, uh, you know, one encounter, so. One encounter at Game Corner. I can grab all these. Oh my God, I need I need a lot of money right now. All right, here's what we're gonna do. Cause this is, this is big, this is big stuff. I'm gonna allow myself one of these. I can get Dratini, Larvitar, Beldum, Bagon, Riolu, Rotom, which you can only change its form once. Gibble, Larvesta, Dino, Gumi, Jangmo, Odreepy, Honedge, or Toxel. 
So here's the thing, guys. K King Shield is not as good as it used to be, guys. King Shield is not as good as it used to be in this game. It doesn't drop attack. So King Shield is not as good, guys. This is this is the most one of the most important encounters that we have. I I need to do two things. One, first things first, I'm the realist. Um, one, I gotta change my level cap. Our level cap now goes to 47. Because we have a boss battle coming up. I think it's 100,000 for one Pokemon. But how do you get the shiny forms? Do you get to get the... how do, Does anyone know how the shiny form thing works? Because I was going to grind out the 200k just to get a shiny. Because I thought it'd be cool if we had the shiny. It's double. So I need I need 200k. So we need to do some grinding to get that 200k. Butterfree's so good, by the way. Can we talk about how amazing it is that we have Butterfree? I don't know how you play this game without a Butterfree. How do you how do you play this game on a Nuzlocke if you don't have a Pokemon like Butterfree? I got so lucky having a Butterfree. And the fact that it's still alive. Frisk works like compound eyes. Yeah, I know that, but still, it's still. You gotta have it with Thief and all sorts of stuff, you know? Alright, let's take a look. Let's let's sell some stuff. I think I should have enough money. I think we need 200,000. So that should get me there. Yeah. Alright, so we're at 250,000. I'll sell some of these. We have a good amount of money. I can amulet coin through the rocket hideout and get a lot of money back anyway, so I'm less concerned about that. So. Let's pokey ride back and let's make a pros and cons sheet <laughs> and figure this out. Okay, so I'll tell you, we are we are not we are not taking Riolu. We're not taking Rotom. We're not taking I don't think Larvesta is worth it. I think we're gonna run into Stealth Rocks too much. We're not taking Larvesta. We're not taking Toxel. I don't think Dreepy is the best decision. I don't think Dreepy is the best decision. I think that there's better options here. So I'm not taking Dreepy. I'm not even trying to like make this dramatic. It's just like we really like this is a big choice <laughs> Like all right, here's where we're at. Um, this is what it's narrowed down to so here's the thing Dratini Dratini Okay, I want to make this really clear guys King shield does not drop attack anymore in this game King shield does not drop attack Aegislash is not nearly as good as it otherwise would be okay. Remember this Aegislash is not nearly as good I don't- I'm not actually writing off Jengmo O yet. I know some people are saying Jengmo O is like bad. I'm not- I'm not writing off Jengmo O, to be honest. Like, I'm not writing that off. I don't think it's that bad. I think Jengmo O is pretty solid, actually. I don't see myself taking Tyranitar. I- I just think that there's better options. I- I think that- I think there's a better option besides Jengmo O. I think we're taking Hone Edge off too, to be honest. I- I- I'm pretty sold on not using Hone Edge right now because of the nerf. Garchomp does put in a lot of work, but Koga has a, a good enough team that Garchomp doesn't like completely wall it. Garchomp is good, but it's not, it's, it's not like it completely walls Koga. So let's not, let's not say it does. You have to look at Koga's team. Um, Sabrina's team is a nightmare. The only thing that even does anything against Sabrina's team, nothing really, nothing. Honestly, Hydreigon is probably the best thing against Sabrina. Um, and even that, you, Sabrina's team is just stupid. Like, I don't know how I'm supposed to get through that. That's just a dumb team, dude. Um, I, dude, I like Gudra. I do like Gudra, bro. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna start removing things. I'm not taking Dino, and I'm not taking Dratini because I would take, I would take Bagon over Dratini. All right, I'm taking Garchomp off. It's not the answer. I got it down to three, bro. <laughs> dude, the Elite Four in this game is so stupid. I just looked at the Elite Four in this game, and it's like actually just dumb. I'm pretty sure the Elite Four, they have two teams. Each, each like, each gym, or each Elite Four member has two teams, and it's random which one you face. How do you even, like, you don't even prepare for that. You can't. It's, like, so stupid. Oh, um, my, it's, like, actually so dumb. The teams are so different, too. It's so hard. I don't even know how you're supposed, how do you beat this? The thing I'm thinking about, part of the reason why I'm leaning towards Gudra right now, believe it or not, is Gudra shuts down every special attacker, like straight up, just shuts it down completely. All right, I'm making a decision. I hope you guys ride or die. Remember, most recent uh, sub or give sub giver gets to pick the name. I'm picking it right now. Let's get it. I'm making my decision. I'm making my decision. Puka, thank you, Pain Train. What? It doesn't have a hidden ability, does it? Oh, light metal versus clear body. No, I take clear body. Wait, I thought it was 200,000. 
Oh. And Seaweed Monster Man is the most recent give sub giver. Right at the last second, too. Bailey, you get to pick it. Oh, I forgot that we had this little guy with us. Mild Nature, we'll have to change that. Oh, God. I'm gonna have to, <laughs> I'm gonna have to fix its stats. Um, but that's okay. I took the Beldum team. I took the Beldum. I felt like it was the right call. So, listen, if it, if it costs me later, that's fine. But I, I'm thinking about what I need to get through the, the game now. And I feel like Metagross is a really strong Pokemon. I think the priority is incredibly valuable. I think Mega Metagross is really strong. Um, I think we can customize it a lot. It can't have its stats dropped. Uh, I feel like Metagross is the best bet right now. All right, Bailey has picked the wonderful name of Mr. Cake. Um... <laughs> So I hope you guys are ready for Mr. Cake. All right, well, let's uh, let's deposit everybody. And you guys can see what we're working with. Here's our full squad, actually. Let me, who am I not working with right now? You're right, I do get an encounter in Celadon, technically. I never got my Celadon encounter. The only thing I got were static encounters here. So let's grab our encounter in Celadon real quick and then we're going to the day. And then we'll figure it out on the next, next stream. <laughs> Please be Poliwag. I actually Drizzle could be massive for us guys. I'm not even kidding. That could be a game changer. It could change the entire course of this this playthrough. And it makes me annoying because if I if I thought of that, I might have made a different pick over Metagross. But honestly, Rain plus Metagross is nice too because you remove a weakness. So Poliwag, 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 Slowpoke! <laughs> no! <laughs> ah! It's not a dupe, guys. It's not a dupe. Everyone in the chat is calling it a dupe, but it's not a dupe, guys. This is not a duplicate. It does say I have it, though. I don't consider this a duplicate, though. It's a different mod, though. It's, it does say I already have it, though. The last thing I want to have happen is, like, let's say we beat this whole run, and then people are going to hate on it because they're like, oh, A-Drive, you know, he cheated. He didn't follow the rules that I followed. Like, I set the rules at the beginning. I've been trying to follow them the whole time. I just, it's hard to say whether we're counting this as a dupe. I understand that it legitimately, I'm, I'm catching this thing. I, I, I would love a Politoed, I really would, but I'm gonna catch this thing. I, I don't consider this a dupe. I, I'm sorry, it's not the same Pokemon. Galarian Slowpoke and Galarian Slow, regular Slowpoke and Galarian Slowpoke, they are different Pokemon. They are very different Pokemon. All right, Bailey, you get to name it. What do you got? I would not consider Ponyta and Galarian Ponyta the same. I would not consider dupe claws on Galarian Ponyta versus Ponyta, I wouldn't. I would not, I would consider them separate. They're very different Pokemon. And in this context, it's very different too. Like Galarian Slowbro and Galarian Slow King are very different too. They're very different Pokemon. I don't think that changes anything for us though. Like, <laughs> I don't think our decision making changes at all.